Clank? Clank? Come on, wake up! Captain Quark? <laughs> no, goofball. It's me, Ratchet. What happened? You got toasted by lightning. This place is having one heck of a storm. You won't be safe out there. I'll be right back. And this part kicks off with a bang, ladies and gentlemen. This is a ratchet only level. So, no double you have a double jump, but you have no flight. Oh boy. But you still got your trusty wrench and your guns. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna need these. Hi there, Fuzzball. Hey there. Sorry, Tesla Claw, you'll have to wait. By the way, the audience was really quick on the Steam Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw them. <laughs> you know. This here is your drone glove. Basically, it's a it's a kind of a shield, but it's more so a bomb kind of thing. Where if any enemies get too close to you, one of these things comes flying out and takes them out. Power's pretty good. This level is a challenge. What is the what is the challenge stem from? Enemies are challenging. The platforming is kind of annoying. Oh no, this is actually just a step up, a, reason, a reasonable step up in difficulty. First, we're going to take care of the platforming segment. Okay. By the way, we are back live, folks. Yes. We are no longer post. For that one or three people out there that, that was an it. interesting Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, this place is having an interesting Mardi Gras. <laughs> oh boy, ice. But it's on. It's like just. Oh wait, it's just a barrier. I thought that was electric ice for a second there. Electric ice, holy shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's done before. Uh, probably. I don't want to be the guy to find out who did it. Now, you know what can make this worse? Wins! Oh, so it's not just a matter of dealing with the ice physics, you're being, oh. Ugh. Yeah. Hey, I liked Bramble Blast too, he lied. <laughs> <laughs> well, this really isn't such a terrible segment. Fuck that noise. I'm pretty sure you'll be, you'll be uh, sure to point out the part you hate the most. Oh, you'll see it. There are two gold bolts to get along this pathway. So that I can navigate safely around this. Let's uh, work the camera. There we go. And what skill points are here? Um, two. Shouldn't be as hard to get. I know I could get one, no problem. The other one's kind of a bitch. I know I'm late in asking this with the magnetic rails, but does it work off galaxy logic where you can walk on the sides of the magnetic rails? No. You walk off the sides, that's it. The magnet boots stop protecting you. Okay. Just wanted to be sure on that. Now, you're not... Here's the thing. You're not going to want to lose your momentum here. Otherwise, that happens. There's no wind here, right? No. No, but there is that. This is what happens when Al Roker predicts the wrong weather. <laughs> Electric ice. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, you did it this time, Roker. <laughs> I see a gold bolt. Right, we'll get that soon. Ish. Yeah, like 20 parts. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Jesus. Nah, ain't gonna be that one. Nah, I'm jesting with you. I'm just joshing you, see? I'm joshing you. I'm ranking your balls. I hate that term. Joshing you? Yeah. Why? I don't even know what it means. Josh, where does it hell from? Like, what's the origin of that word? Josh server. Who knows? <laughs> Although, yeah, to admit, that's kind of a cruel thing now, if that's what joshing is going to become more so than the name itself. Oh, uh, you know, your name Josh because your mother was jo because your father was joshing me when he said the continent didn't have a hole in it. <laughs> Ain't that funny, Josh? She was joshing me when she said Dragon Ball Z sucked. <laughs> Are we talking fight scenes or narrative? Yes. Oh, yes, what? <laughs> You're not, you're not wriggling your way out of this one. You're going to answer that question. Those things are grenade launcher ships. They'll toss out a bomb and then they'll eventually blow up with you on it. Kind of annoying, so take out the... Uh, take out the visible I'm going for them. I see the gold bowl on the right there. Almost looks too easy to get. You know why? Or is it just real easy to get? It is real easy to get. <laughs> okay, then. This part's kind of a pain, though, because of the uh, ice. And these assholes. Whoa. Remember that from level one? Yeah, I do. They're back with an extended range. So like, the agents real are range. again a godsend. The agents are a godsend, and I know you. I know you. Probably... Honestly, the agents are one of my favorite weapons in this game. Well, I think it goes to show up just from watching the feedback. Yeah. But um, I know you. You mentioned them earlier, but can you refresh your memory one time? The things that are floating around you. These are. It's, these are kind of attack droids. Basically, what they do is they're a makeshift shield. 
Not so much in the sense of they will protect you from attacks, but if any enemy gets near you, they'll go head, their heads will go flying right toward them and just bomb the fuck out of them. I think with the gold bolt that easy to find, they're just really nailing in that, yeah, these things do exist and you should probably start looking for them. Yeah, right. <laughs> But well, the gold bolts are really only used for the gold weapons, right? Yeah. And a trophy. You, oh, yeah, PS3 release. Of course. Oh, yeah, you gotta give the player some incentive for getting them all besides the gold weapons. So, honestly, I the, do gold, like how the gold our... weapons are enough for me. Yeah, seriously. Well, they're, like I said earlier, they're not just gold bolts you need. You also need a huge amount. Of, you also need a small ransom. <laughs> I would say King's Ransom, but it ain't that much. <laughs> Except maybe the gold par officer. Seriously, what the fuck? I hear a humming in my pants. That's my pants. <laughs> Get your hand out there. Aww. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with the fucking battle detector here. I hate it in the ice segment. What else do you have left to get? Just the uh, the Tesla, right? The Tesla call? The Tesla call, yeah. yeah. That's 30,000 volts. All right, now here's another gold bolt that's not so easily seen. You're gonna. This is the way you're supposed to go. So naturally, we're gonna keep on shimmying to the right. Yeah, I would have done that by instinct. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> no, come on, where's your explorative gene? Not in these kind of games. You get knuckles takes it all, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety percent knuckles, seven percent ratchet and clank, three percent Castlevania. <laughs> You said there was two of them, right? There's two on this side, yeah. There's two more to get in the level proper. Come on. Rush it automatically grabs the edge if you walk off it, don't you? Oh, I guess not. Well, that's a little weird. He does cartwheels in midair. <laughs> <laughs> that's called inertia. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Here's a question. What was your first be um, system of a down song? Uh, Toxicity. Oh, you too? It was Toxicity, Deer Dance... And what was another one I had? Psycho. My was toxicity because of um, stick death. Oh, I've heard songs, well. never knew the song titles, and most of the time I just made fun of their dialect. Just uh, don't hold up here. Just let the wind carry you, and hey, it's Quark. Quark. What the fuck? What is he now a psychiatrist for five cents? <laughs> Captain Quark. Where? Come on, Quark. I know it's you. Uh, the name's Steve. Pleased to meet you. Look, Steve. I need to know where Drek is before it's too late. Did you say too late? Sir, it is never too late to acquire the latest in the long line of quality products from Gadgetron. I have for you, today only, the Gadgetron PDA. Public display of affection? No, 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 personal delivery assistant. <clears throat> this device allows you to purchase ammunition wherever and whenever you want it. Yeah? How do I know it works? You can always trust Gadgetron quality, or my name's not... Steve. Where did his eyes go? Where did his Thank eyes go? Thank you, and have a quark-tastic day! It's What's rage. going on with his eyes in general, I think is the better question. <laughs> anyway, the Gadgetron PDA basically allows you to access your armor vendor whenever you want. Hmm. The only conundrum is you gotta pay for shipping and handling. Oh, oh really? So I never use it. You gotta pay for shipping and handling. Yeah, you actually do. <laughs> I wanna get a Chia pet. Okay. That'll be 50,000 bolts plus an extra 2,000. Ellie has the right idea, except you know who's paying 50,000 bolts. I like to buy the Walloper for five easy payments of 19.99. Just pay 5,000 for the shipping and handling. Fuck that noise. It's Toy Wiz all over again. <laughs> you, you will pay. You will pay. You can pay five visa payments for not nineteen ninety nine, but eighteen ninety nine, but fifty four ninety nine. <laughs> Toy Wiz, where you'll get, you know, you'll pay top dollar for the way the card is delivered to you. Essentially, which is, which is why I'm grateful. Toy Amazon. Wiz, you get what you paid for. Toy Wiz, fuck you. <laughs> because fuck you. As you can no doubt tell, these little light fixtures here are for one of the skill points. Of course it is. For what? Just being a vandal? Yeah. <laughs> for vandalism? Lights out. Well, uh, cool. Okay. Unfortunately, I left some up there, so we're gonna go back up here and knock these lights out. Time to hit the lights, like that Metallica song. Or the, I was thinking only Furtado, but yeah, Metallica could work too. 
That's Nelly a... Potato had a song called Lights Out. Turn out the light. Turn out the light. It's too bright in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a vampire. <laughs> blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. He's a geriatric vampire. <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> Dracula's sick of your shit. He's sick <laughs> of this shit. He's too old for this shit. <laughs> He's never too old for that shit. <laughs> he literally is. So we took one pathway before, now we're taking the other one. But yeah, there's three pathways to go. This pathway is the swing shot course. This has actually a completely optional where we're going. And more street lights. Do these count? Yeah, of course. You I have think to bring they all them on the level. Yeah. Die once and you gotta go find him again. Ooh. Well, I think you missed one over there. There are four up there. That's where the gold bolt is. So you gotta kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. Now, there's right way, there's the wrong way, and there's the Matt Metelli way, which is the <laughs> wrong way, but more expensive. <laughs> You'll get there eventually. I don't want to test my luck. So we're gonna shell 800 bolts worth of Visibomb gun ammo <laughs> and just blow these up this way. You really hate lamps. <laughs> Always applying with light. <laughs> I mean, who asked for it? I sure as hell fucking didn't. This message has been paid for by Jack the Ripper. I think he missed. I totally fucking missed. Gloriously. <laughs> he make it up with a direct hit. <laughs> these things are searchlights, as you can no doubt tell. Uh, they're pretty resilient to everything but your Visibomb gun. Once they blow up or if they catch you, the machine gun turrets start coming out. Well, the day yeah, I find an enemy, stop. the day I find an enemy that's like impervious to the Visibomb gun is the day I start shitting my pants. The day we start smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> to help absorb the feeling of disbelief. <laughs> I'm gonna throw out a decoy real quick. I wanna do something weird with this. There I am. What does the decoy what does it look, look like? like? Yeah, I wonder what the decoy looks like. Matt, what does it look like? I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Go! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? It's always inflatable. Tough crowd. <laughs> Ex you know? except, except for Sly's. Was Sly's not inflatable? It was a, it was a cardboard was a cutout. Too. It was, yeah, it's a cardboard cutout. That's right. Oh, really? I thought it was an alarm clock. No. Oh, no, that was to distract enemies. Oh shit, I'm out of a uh, flamethrower ammo. Well, oh, after, yeah. Is that, you know, every time I think, like in a game like this, platformer or otherwise, or something that just has a cartoonish nature, the decoy is often inflatable. <clears throat> and every time I think of the decoy, I always think of zombie at my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. It was an inflatable clown doll. It laughed too. Hi, I'm Papa. <laughs> I was just thinking of Papa too. <laughs> Well, I, was, I, was, I was just about to say if Rugrats had one, it'd probably be Bobbo. Hi, and I'm Bobbo. Oh, oh. Shit a minute. You missed one. And now the game is on. Do like, you want to go back? Like where your ship was. I felt like that you missed one over there. Do you want to quickly backtrack and cut? Yeah, you did. Oh, look at that. Son of a bitch. There we go. It's good eye, Elliot. Good so memory. <laughs> Vandal. That's jerk. <laughs> yeah, there should be a trophy. It's called Jerk. <laughs> I want there to be one like that. Derp. Grade A asshole. That would be my gold. Too late. It's never too late to be an asshole. It's ain't too late for you. Oh. It's never too late for me to be an asshole. I could kill these things, but I don't have the Visibomb gun ammo for it. So what we're, we're actually going to do is we're going to switch to our weapons, and we are going to go back to our quick select because I hit the wrong item. <laughs> Agents aren't going to be too helpful here, so let's whip out the Joan gloves. Every time you hover over it... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> you can get yourself caught by the searchlight, they'll go ballistic, and you got to deal with guns. This is what happens. And when my you drones just sort of like took off on me there. <laughs> Traitors! <laughs> this is what happens when you feel suicidal. Oh boy. Uh, this is getting kind of interesting. This is getting kind of dangerous. <laughs> so fuck them. 
And while I'm at it, we're going to switch around back to the suck cannon. Now, the searchlights only call the turrets. Right. They don't actually shoot things themselves? No. Okay. Suck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> suck it. <laughs> now it gets a little creative with the swing shot targets. Oh, now they're moving. Aw, oh, I thought I had it. You're not going to make that. Oh, not that. If he had Clank, I could! <laughs> But he had to be afraid of lightning. Yeah, you know, it's like he can't take 20,000 volts. A walking conductor, that's what he is. <laughs> you can know that's how it's going to happen if I trip one of these. Would it close off? No. Oh. Uh, See those turrets in there? Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what would pop up, but There's I'm also... There's all eight of them. I'm it becomes a cro it becomes a crossfire like crazy hell. A bullet hell brouhaha. <laughs> It would make Toho blush. Or rather, it would be Toho's level 1. Toho? <laughs> yeah, Toho. The bullet hell genre. Well, a game that specifies in the... Specialized yeah, special bullet. specializes in bullet hell and for some reason, Animu. Animu? Animu. Always gotta go for that Animu. For some reason, I get nervous on these things. Because it's tilting? Yeah. Can you slide off? No, but I've had an I've had a weird instance happen to me once before. You can't slide off, but you oh. you still get, feel that way anyway because you naturally think you would. Right. There's our gold bolt. No, that's a, that's not a gold bolt. That's our new gun. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I missed my stop. Now I gotta ride it to the end of the line. <laughs> Which I have done a total of one time. Never done it. I've slept on a bus. And I missed my stop. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. God, Matt! Matt, go do it! And we climb on up and we have our new gun, the Quacko Ray. Oh, Jesus. That's short range, but what are you gonna do? But here it calls it the Morpho Ray. Maybe Matt's calling it by another name for Matt, a future game? Matt's calling it by another name for a future game, yes. Or because Matt's a dumbass and he forgot what you're It's the same fucking thing. Exactly. <laughs> if anybody lynches you for that, they're dumb. Why is it called the Quacko Ray, though? Because it transforms enemies into chickens. Ducks. 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 Quack. Or chickens. No, it's chickens. It turns them into duck from the Walking Dead game. Oh, God. What? Dead. Dead. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, now that we're done here, he's just gonna be a whiny little crybaby, but I'm not gonna care. Ooh, I need bolts. <laughs> Ooh, bus fare. <laughs> hey, taxi say cheap. <laughs> That's why we're taking the bus. <laughs> what bus? <laughs> Would you rather take the 47 or a taxi cab? 47. 47, uh, I guess it depends but on what 47 time takes me nowhere, it's a taxi cab. It depends on the time, time of the night. <laughs> Yeah, if it's two in the morning, I ain't waiting for a fucking bus. I'm calling a cab. What if you don't have money for a cab? You're fucked. Well, you shouldn't be out to begin with if you don't have any money. <laughs> Think about it. I'm not. I'm not questioning <laughs> it. <laughs> that was done here. I was talking to Elliot. Huh. Yeah, I know. All right, now we're done here. We're gonna head back to the main platform. Welcome <laughs> to. to rip. Welcome to Bullet Station. Oh, for fuck's sake, Clark! The next part we're going to is actually pretty challenging. Just, just as challenging or more? So It's not a platforming, it's outright gunplay, and uh, it's a hard segment. And this is a mandatory pathway. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to want tired. the uh, drone gloves equipped. I'm going to want... The decoy gloves going to get some good work out here, too. You know... All things considered, this planet is constantly raining, I get it. It's a rain planet. But we only had one lightning bolt so far, though. Yeah. You don't want to take the risk, especially since he's conducting electricity, uh, but then again, I can't say the same for the robots. That's a plot bolt. That it is. I think I just saw a billboard. Fuck! Oh, damn. I forgot about that. You died. First time in combat. He dead, yo. Hmm. 
You know, this is playing games like these now, you get used to the auto-saving, auto-checkpoints. Yeah. So that it totally disheartens you when you're playing an older game where after you die, it just says, load game, rain menu. I was like, oh, fuck. So <laughs> it's like, I didn't say that for a while. You gotta get back to that retro mentality. Yeah. Star Wars. What is it? Star Wars. You really gotta check out that cold. It's making you say Star Wars. Yeah, episode one. <laughs> Adios, jerk. I, like, that looks like a footprint, but... Th yeah, that game really put a damper on my mood when I was playing it. Say Matt says Adios, uh, Adios jerk as soon as LA brings up a Star Wars stage. I'm thinking, is that someone's one-liner <laughs> in one of the movies? <laughs> <laughs> is that what Obi-Wan said to Darth Vader? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's that what Darth Vader said to Obi Wan before he slashed him in Episode Four. It's like adios, jerk. <laughs> the blaster is a good idea here for its auto lock on capabilities. So this way you don't gotta worry about like you know having to strafe since you don't have plank here for that. Also, the one thing about Ultanus that kind of irritates me is that little plot hole point because when you really consider. Uh, because the thing is, though, is that when you really consider it, this would be one of the really good levels for strafing. But they just took away the character you've had, and you've had two levels to do that. It makes it kind of irksome. I just find it weird that you need Clank to strafe. They fixed that in later games. Yeah. Because <laughs> guess what? The only thing you really need to strafe are legs. <laughs> Clank should have nothing to do with it. Unless Clank was your pair of robotic legs. Oh, that poor little decoy. Honestly, these robots look like the biggest threat we've faced so far. Right. You know, and even then, that's not accounting for much. That's saying something compared to everything else we fought. You know, I would think, like, the flying turrets would be a challenge, but... You know how to deal with them properly. Yeah, it's like, you know how to deal with them properly, so that's why. Right. Believe you me, I died a lot on this fucking level on my first go. I don't have a hard time believing that. And what do you know? I'm still in first person view mode for my, uh... You're doing your wrench stage? Stop, man. Stop it. <laughs> no, we're not going to let that go. Oh. <laughs> Just had that. Get in the way of your fun. Oh, nice jump. Thank you. So I was totally done on uh, command and not instinct. That was totally on accidental purpose. <laughs> oh, that's the other scope one I'm going to get. I have to love three large ships. What is it ever not a skill point to blow up hovercrafts, like aircraft? Because it shows skill. <laughs> Hindsight skill. First, swing shot up here, easy goal, bolt. Is it weird for me that every time we get like a humongous collectible, I expect it to be like a full restore? Yeah. You're spoiled. <laughs> I guess it's just a lot of games I've played recently. It's just... Come on. They do give you a health box, though. Close enough. And there's a sad mouse thing here. Helpful. Just not needed. Can you reach it from here? I can't. We need to get a little closer. <laughs> a little closer. Not now, Super Shredder. Not Super, just regular Shredder. That was for some reason I wanted to say Kevin Nash. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Well, Kevin Dash was under the guy, <laughs> Super Shredder. Oh, yeah. I guess the only time he played a role there, he didn't tear his quad. Ah! The only role he, he did, just what? broke everything else. <laughs> when that entire pier fell on him. Yep. So those green lights became red as they approached you. I'd imagine you have a That's bit a of sensor. I'd imagine you have a bit of leeway before they actually really, they actively attack you. Right, it's a sensor. Hmm. <clears throat> really bad engineer there, sorry. Let's mosey on along. That's the only downside with these headsets. After a while, they start changing your ears. Yeah. But that's what the mute button's for, so if you want to take it off and scratch your ears, go right ahead. Three rails. Any point? Yeah, you'll see. Very a point. Alright, now we're on the new grind rail section. These three will chase you on the grind rail section. You have to notice which one's going to fire at you. And jump to the appropriate one. 
The jumping is as easy as... It's as easy as holding left or right on the stick and pressing X. Okay. Confident real jumping physics. <laughs> now, of course, you see that little thing there. It's pretty much a giant barrier. You don't blow up when you hit it, but you kind of get the point. Stupid! <laughs> is there a scope point for this? No. Uh, there will be in the next level, and I fucking hate that one. Worse than the Not next level, board? two levels. And we're done. Hey, hey, welcome to my shop. What can I get you? I'm looking for Drek. Sure, yeah, I got lots of stuff on sale. After the bombing, no one is around to buy anything. Are you okay? Low prices? Oh, you bet. I can make you a deal on a busted turburator, a, a mangled carbonizer, or a... I got this info, bot. Guess that bombing was pretty loud, huh? Oh, you're one shrewd negotiator. I'll tell you what, I can let this infobot go for half price. Well, that's about it for me. Thanks. Quit your complaining, I gave you a great deal. Sheesh! Afraid to go out at night? Afraid to go out during the day? Just plain afraid? Then you need this! The Ultra Mech Unlimited. This mech is the ultimate in personal defense system. Large Industries is now taking pre-orders. Get yours before it's too late. Now that's what I call serious firepower. Clank's gonna be jealous if he sees this. You're choking me. Put and me down, asswipe. Buff you, asshole. Suck it. 